So there are multiple reasons why I will on purpose buy multiple versions, multiple editions of a single book. Uh, the main one is what is the main one? Well, actually, I have multiple ones. I'm not sure if I have a main one. So I'll give you the ones that I had for these four examples. Uh, I bought the uh, Niven and Superman uh, number theory book as a pool book. This has been my pool book for 2022, meaning I put it in the bag when we go to the, our neighborhood pool and I read from it while I'm at the pool. Now, this was a harder book, as I've mentioned in another video, the hardest book a number theory that I have and so I liked it as a challenge I'm in a relaxed state I'm hanging out at the pool I'm a nerd so I love math and so yeah this was my pool book for 2022 and as I also mentioned in another video the difference between editions uh, the, the later edition which is the fifth one and this one is the third one is huge it's basically a different book it's got like whole new chapters that were added and so, yes, when I used, uh, when I was doing number theory, I actually used this book. Uh, but then at the same time, I would take this book to the pool all concurrently. All right. So in that case, uh, the books, th that particular book was well edited. And so the only reason to have an earlier edition was because it was a pool book. Uh, in this case, which is a book that I plan to read at some point in the long term future, maybe two, three years down the road. But, you know, I like to have books is I read the, the comments for this book, Complex Analysis, for the second edition, and they mentioned uh, horror stories of how many typos it has. And so, in this case, I on purpose bought the first edition, which I believe will likely be my pool book for 2023, even though I'm not doing complex analysis because it's going to help me with Rudin. Uh, so I think this is probably going to be my pool book, and... Uh, here it's different. Here it's more like it's nicer when the first edition doesn't have as much content because then you can read it completely more easily. That's kind of like a perverse thing, but it works. And then uh, if it's got a lot of typos for sections that were added or changed, I can always check with the original version of that section here. And this book only cost me 10 bucks, so it's not a big deal. And I think this was like a $40 book, so even the, the book that I plan to read from uh, is, is actually affordable. One thing, as an aside, for, for complex uh, analysis books, I find, and by now I have a reasonable selection of these for when I get around to doing this subject, I find that in complex analysis, the books, even the ones that have a lot of theorems, like Alpha's, don't have nearly as many theorems as in the case of number theory or linear algebra or definitely real analysis. But having said that, yeah. So it looks like this will be my pool book uh, for 2023, unless I change my mind. I doubt I'll change my mind. And then we have, for example, books that are plagued by uh, edit errors for all editions. And this happens to be the case for Rosen which I ended up reading completely, and yes, the, the, the uh, comments in, uh, in Amazon were correct. It's got a bunch of typos, some a little on the annoying side. But guess what? The earlier addiction has even more typos. <laughs> I mean, like quadratic reciprocity, they used the congruence symbol for the equality. It's like, what? It's not congruence. It should be, it should be equality. But yeah, in this case, this was not a pool book, but this book I would take... Uh, when I would go pick up my son and I would read it in the car. So it's nice to have a copy that you're not worried if you forget somewhere, I would take it on vacations. I, as an obsessive compulsive person, make it a, sub a point of never to take the book that I'm actually going to read completely anywhere. It stays in the house. That's just me, because I'm me. And then, in this case, I happen to have three different editions of this book of uh, what I call FIS, Friedberg, Insel, Spence, which the way I'm falling completely in love with analysis, it looks like I'm going to end up using this book, which is the one that I bought to go cover to cover many years from now. I don't know. There will probably be like a, an eighth edition by the time I get around to reading this book cover to cover, given how much fun I'm having with analysis. But this particular edition, the third one, I bought the second one again, I, I consider it becoming a pool book, which I believe it's a perfect candidate for a pool book. It's completely expandable. It can get wet. 
I don't really care. I even have a third edition and I have a fifth edition. This was an error. I was actually going to buy Lang, Lang's Linear Algebra book, which was a, 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 a Springer book. And they made a mistake and they sent me this one and I didn't even return it. I was like, you know what? I wouldn't mind having it. That's kind of cool. Now, in this particular case, for this edition of the book, for this book, one thing that I that I know happened with this book is they made changes where they, and, and this is something that they'll do between editions. They have to play the editions game. What is the editions game? You publish a book, you have to keep adding editions because that's how you make your money as a publisher. Otherwise, nobody's going to buy the book ever again. They bought, they bought the second, the first edition. It was great. They used it. It's over. When are you going to sell the book again? You're not. And so what do you do? You keep adding editions. You keep making it better. In some cases, in some cases, you actually make the book worse. In some cases, they'll take out a section or rewrite it a section thinking that it makes it better. And in reality, the original section actually was better. And so for as long as I can buy $10 old editions, I don't mind uh, them taking space in my shelf. Uh, and so I, th I believe this is going to be the case when I get around to reading FIS. That there'll be some section in here that will be new, difficult to understand, or kind of fits into the story in a weird way. And I'll go back and say, you know, how about I read the original story in the second edition? Even, I, sh I guess I should have the first one, but you know, you can only do this so much. Uh, so that that's another aspect of having multiple editions of the same book. The variations between them can mean that the first or second or third edition for a specific chapter or section or proof or problems or concept can actually be better. And that's that happens. Uh, so that's those are my reasons for having multiple editions of a book. And I only hit the tripod twice in this video instead of 10 times.